What I'm going to show you here is how to correctly phase sync your boom and lav recordings. And also, I want you to hear the difference between a boom and lav that are in phase and a boom and lav that are out of phase. Here's before. A fleece is way snow. After. A fleece is way snow. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to see if I see any phase shifting. And now you can do this in Premiere, you can do this in Vegas, you can do this in Final Cut, you can do this in, uh, I'm working in Pro Tools, doesn't matter. This is recorded on a uh, Zoom H4M stereo track, inputs one and two, boom lav. What I'm going to do is split this into two mono files. In Pro Tools, you right click, split into mono. I'm going to mute the first track. We're going to work with just these left-right tracks. So the first one is the boom, and the second one is the lav. Now, notice here how the lav arrives before the boom. See how this transient comes before the boom transient? Now, why is that? Well, it has to do with the speed of sound. The lavalier mic is closer to the mouth than the boom is. So because the lav is only about maybe, say, 10 inches away, and the boom is about, say, 20 inches away, the sound is getting to the lavalier first and to the boom second. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to nudge the lavalier track forward so they arrive at approximately the same time. Here's before. A fleece is way snow. After. A fleece is way snow. A fleece is way snow. A fleece is way snow. Here a lot of the warmth comes back, a lot of the focus comes back, it sounds nice and centered. That's because when it's out of phase like this, what's happening is just cancellation taking place across the waveform. All across the frequency range from 20 to 20, certain frequencies are being cancelled out. Not all of them, but some of them, and that's called phase cancellation. And what happens is you're left with approximately about 70% or so, depending on how bad the cancellation is, of the original recording. You're actually losing a lot of content, so it's going to sound thinner, it's going to sound less focused. Hopefully these couple of tricks really quickly will help you properly use your boom lav uh, recordings. And this is something that has to be done every time. Hope that helps.